Alright, what's up, what's going on guys, it's your boy Chumbles and I'm back with another video. And today I'll be going over um, the item set that I'm using, or the like the rune, the whatever, the masteries and runes and all that. Because um, <clears throat> it changed a little bit, but uh, yeah, uh, kind of inspired by RF Legendary, like some of the stuff that he builds is the same, some of the stuff um, that I do is different. Uh, but yeah, I'll get into that in, or once we get there. So, uh, the starting, these are your starting items. Uh, actually I should have the ward there. Uh, so yeah, these are your starting items. Pretty, uh, pretty reasonable items to be considered. So just your standard stuff, uh, essentially and if you want to go in, or this won't be super long, but if you want a really like in-depth one, I've done uh, a couple more Nidalee guides for runes and masteries and item set, item builds. So if that's something you're really looking for, then uh, I'd suggest you go and watch that. And yeah, I'll probably put that in the description below if you uh, missed it and want to go watch that. So, um... So your core is going to be either these two boots, uh, no other boots are needed, uh, Triforce, Blade of the Rune King, and uh, Guardian Angel. I think these three items are super strong. I usually go Triforce and then uh, Blade of the Rune King in most games. Some games I switch it up with my situational build with uh, Fam Dancer, like I might replace uh, Trinity Force with Fam Dancer and then go into Blade or Blade then Fam Dancer. So it's a uh, pretty situational and it gets mixed up a lot. Like the it changes from game to game who you're versing, etc. etc. The matchup and all that. But this is basically the gist of it the uh, build or the core build that I go every game. Uh, so it would typically look like, uh, boots, so whatever boot, uh, Triforce, Blade of the Rune King, then I'll pick a situational, and then I'll go into Guardian Angel, so it'd probably be like Triforce, Blade, uh, either Fam Dancer, or Bloodthirster, or, uh, Death Dance would probably be one of the higher options that I would choose. Or even uh, Ma, um, ZZ Raw, or like those are like tier B, and our um, Mortal Reminder, and then tier C is like Jarum or Asterax, which is like can be useful, but I don't think it's very necessary. And then uh, Skimitar, so it's like it it really does depend. Um, like some games. You know, your beer B tier, like, items that I'd usually swap for would be, like, A tier. So, it's, it does really depend on the matchup. And since because, or because you're playing Dilly top, um, it does change between matchups. But once you start playing a bunch of different matchups and you know which champs are, uh, I guess, weak to whatever you're building, then... It just becomes fluent and you don't really think about what you want to build and we have the red pot of course uh, I guess you could put the the uh, is it in here uh, what is this thing called oh there it looks it was not pots I'll put all three of them, but I think it'd be in this order would probably be best, uh, just for obvious reasons, nothing really more, but yeah, there might be like an item or two that I'm missing in the situational, uh, like Randuin's would be an option, I'll put that in quick, I think Randuin's is going to be better next patch when it's uh, not this shitty item path build. Um, 
And another one could be frozen mallet. So I'll just put that in. But this is this is obviously not tank, by the way. Uh, if it wasn't obvious. Um, so yeah, I just, I try to stay away from like these items. Put that down here. So yeah, I'm trying to have it in the order that I think is like the best. Uh, just so you guys have. I think, uh, yeah, these ones can be like intertwined and stuff, but yeah. So that's it. Uh, if you want to copy that, then you should just copy it, I guess. Too bad you can't copy uh, item builds and, or item sets or whatever, but yeah. So that's basically it for that. Uh,. save so now masteries these this is the page that i'm running um so forever standard stuff from here i switch to uh vampirism just because i'm getting so much more life still with my items and for another reason that you'll see in just a sec so uh these ones could be intertwined and i think uh the attack speed is just too good then recovery i think is the best because you're not really building uh any well too much magic resistance armor and then explorer is pretty good because of uh bush control and then runic armor because we are healing and life seal and then uh insight is good because i actually take flash ignite um for lane dominance uh in lower elo just so i can win lane and i think it's good in the 1v2 situations so yeah but this can be changed. So if you want more detail about uh, this, like runes and masteries and stuff, it again, it's gonna be in the in the other video is where I'd go see that. And here, uh, armor because I don't have health, but I would do. Uh, I think it's like five health um, or five armor, and then the rest are scaling HP. But I don't have that on this account because I don't have a lot of IP. Um, and then I have scaling, magic resist, and then uh, the rest are just flat. And then here I take one attack speed, but that would change. So basically, you would remove this and you'd get one life seal quint, and then you would take out this and you would put that or yeah I don't know, go back yeah that so this was what your page would look like uh if i had the life seal quint and then it'd just be one plus one life seal which is why i take vampirism which is like it makes it like the autos uh are just so strong when you actually get them off and stuff and like your rotations between cougar and human as well as like your takedown damage which gives you a lot of life steal back or a lot of health back so yeah the life steal is actually super super strong and that's like what uh was integrated like by rf legendary i saw him running it and i was like seems like shit i don't know why you'd want to <laughs> i don't know why you would run that and then i tested it out for a couple games and i was like Damn, this is actually really good, especially if you're going Dorn's Blade. Uh, let me go back. No. Oh. Whoa. Ah, what's happening? So, yeah. If you're going Dorn's Blade, because then you have 4.5, and then you have uh, the Vampirism for Lifesteal. And if you're on Double Dorn's, then even better, like Double Dorn's into certain matchups. Uh, and then you have Blade of the Rune King, so 12%. And then you could get from Bloodthirster, uh, Scimitar, or Dust Dance, which also gives a lot of uh, life steal between these three. So you're getting quite a bit of uh, life steal from this build. 
and it's because you're auto attacking so much that like that's where your damage is right so you can basically sustain yourself and you out sustain the bruisers and that's why uh, she's actually been pretty good top lane for me uh, as well as RF it seems like and yeah that's that's basically it uh, if you guys have any questions let me know in the description below or comment section below and I will put that the other videos in the description so you guys can see and I'm gonna try to organize everything so that it's more like AD nearly top uh, AD nearly jungle AP jungle mid and support so it's it's a lot easier for you guys if you want to look up for specific uh videos but yeah looks like everything and hopefully you guys enjoyed please give a like if you did and i will be bringing out some more nilly videos uh gameplay videos i should say so yeah stick around for that subscribe or er, follow my twitch channel that'll be in the description below as well if you already haven't i do try to go live when i can and yeah i'll be seeing you guys next time trembles out